so if you've watched any of the other videos, um, we have successfully installed DDWRT into our router, and we are now ready to configure ChiliSpot um, and some router settings to work with DotSpot. So before we do that, before we access um, our router, we need some information in our operator account. So go ahead and log in to DotSpot, to your account, and let's go to the router configurations. You can either get them here or over here at the router section. And here's everything we need for ChiliSpot, right here. And there's a few more details we need. Um, a DNS. Here's um, some information on DNS. You can use this, one of these two from OpenDNS. These work. Or you can use your DNS settings that are provided from your internet service provider. And secondly, if you're planning on charging people for internet and using PayPal, you're going to need to copy and paste these into um, ChiliSpot as well. So I'm going to hold on to those. And I'm ready to go access my router's interface. So I'm going to go ahead and right now, before we do this, let's connect our router to our computer through the Ethernet cable. And um, you might lose your internet connection while you do this. That's OK. I've explained all this before. So if this doesn't make sense to you, go to another video. Type in your the IP address of your router, 192.168.1.1. Address for my router, and probably is the same for yours too, but it might be different. So here's the interface of DDWRT, and first we're going to configure Chili Spot. So go to Services, go to Hotspot, and then we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to enable Chili Spot. And Chili Spot has quite a few options that we have to configure. So go ahead and copy everything that I just showed you in the control panel into this chili spot go ahead. right here. Here it is right here. Copy and paste this if you want to use PayPal. If you don't want to use PayPal then you don't need to put anything here. But what this is, and this is important too, What this is, is this is called a walled garden. And this allows anything you put in here, it will allow access to these websites. Means if you put google.com, that would mean everybody can access Google's website without using a username and password. So it looks good. Let's uh, apply the settings. And there we go. So then the next thing we are going to do is we're going to go to Setup. Okay, now that ChiliSpot is configured, now we need to do a couple configurations within the firmware. Um, the first one, which is really important, is the connection type. And most service providers use DHCP. And um, if yours does, then you don't have to do any of this. Just leave it as is, automatic configuration. If your service provider uses a password, then let's just say they use PPOE, then you select this and then it'll prompt you for your username and password, which you put in here. If it's anything else, then call them and have them walk you through this part. And the only other thing that we're going to change here is the local IP address. And this is the address that we used to access um, the firmware's interface, which is right here. So 192.168.1.1. Now we're going to change this. And we're doing this creates a conflict with the computer's IP. So now what we're doing, we're trying to separate that so when we access um, DotSpot, there won't be a conflict. But the only difference now is when you're trying to access the interface, you're now going to have to put in 192.168.20.1. Um, 
That's the only difference, and you're going to have to remember that. So let's go ahead and update this information. Apply it set. Okay, now this might go a little haywire because we're changing. We just changed the IP address. It successfully updated, as you can see. Um, it made the correct change that we want, but as you also can see up here in the address, it's um, it's still 1.1. Now it looks okay now, but when we try to do the next thing, there's going to be a conflict. So, to well, let me show you. I want to I want to we want to change our SSID, and it's not going to find it. And it's not going to find it because it's searching under the wrong IP address. And it's just going to hang up for a while, and it's not going to work. So if we come in here and put 20, and there it is. Now if you try to access the, um, the wireless tab, which I wanted to show you, it's going to show. Um, the SSID, um, this is, you can put anything you want here. You can put dot spot or you can put your cafe, you can put anything. This is um, the text that will show up when people are searching for your, your network. So I'm, us I'm even going to do dot spot mountain cafe. Okay, so I'm going to apply those settings. And that's it. Everything's set. The last thing you can go through, and, and you can see, you can go through these tabs and see what the software has to offer, because it does have a lot to offer. But I don't want to go over um, everything that it can do, um, and it might even have some conflicting um, issues with DotSpot. So I'm not going to go through with it. I'm just going to tell you what you need to do. And I've already done that. And the very last thing we need to do is reboot the router. So if you weren't following, go to the administration tab, scroll down, and reboot your router. This isn't completely necessary, but it's recommended, but it does. So that's it. Um, the router is rebooted, it's set up, it's ready to connect to the network, and that's what I'm going to show you in the next video.